This video is brought to you by Ground News. With an election due at the end of the year, Poland's ruling Law and Justice Party has passed a law purportedly aimed at countering Russian interference, but viewed by critics as a way to remove opponents from political life. People like former Prime Minister Donald Tusk. In this video, we'll look at what the new law entails, what its supporters and opponents have to say, and how it might impact the election. The law in question would establish a state commission tasked with investigating Russian influence in Poland. The commission would have the powers of a prosecutor and judge, meaning it could impose punishments including an effective 10-year ban on holding public office. Specifically, the ban could be imposed on those found to have acted under Russian interference and would prevent them from holding security clearance or working in a role with responsibility for public funds. Poland's president, Andrzej Duda, has approved the bill, saying he thinks it should enter into force, much to the disappointment of its opponents, who had called on him to veto it. However, amid criticism of the legislation as unconstitutional, he's asked the country's constitutional tribunal to assess whether or not it conforms with the supreme law, and a hearing is due for June the 27th. If it gets the green light, the new state commission would specifically look into Russian interference on the internal security of the Republic of Poland in the years 2007 to 2022. That covers the period of 2007 to 2015, during which Donald Tusk's liberal civic platform ran the country, and also the period since 2015, in which the ruling Conservative Law and Justice Party have been in power. Now, just to briefly point out, the upcoming parliamentary elections are effectively a battle between law and justice under the United Right Alliance and the main opposition civic coalition, led by Tusk. More on this later. The idea of looking into Russian influence is not exactly a new one. In countries around the world, there have been conversations and debates on the subject, which have only intensified since Russia invaded Ukraine last year. And with Poland being one of Ukraine's staunchest allies, the whole thing may not seem surprising. So, why are there concerns over the law, and why do people say it's aimed at Donald Tusk in particular? For starters, opponents say the legislation gives the Commission legal responsibilities and powers that should be in the hands of the independent courts, not a nine-member body appointed by members of Parliament, plus a chair picked by the Prime Minister. One of the main focuses of the Commission would be past energy policies and deals. The current government has accused the former government of making decisions that left Poland too dependent on Russian energy. For example, Reuters reports that the official justification of the legislation itself mentions a 2010 gas supply deal with Russia's Gazprom, signed when Tusk was in office. So this has raised fears from opponents who think the Commission will be used as a tool to target political opponents like Donald Tusk and others who pose a threat to the government ahead of the election. It didn't help that a right-wing lawmaker from the governing coalition said he hoped the commission's work would see Tusk brought before the state tribunal and then taken to prison. As such, opponents have given the legislation the nickname Lex Tusk, or Tusk Law, and are mobilising against it. Tusk has called for mass pro-democracy protests on June the 4th, the anniversary of the 1989 election that largely brought an end to communist rule. In a tweet directed at President Duda, Tusk said, We will be easily heard and seen from the windows of your palace. For its part, the government has insisted that it has no ulterior motive beyond rooting out Russian influence and suggesting that its opponents have something to hide. Prime Minister Mateusz Morawiecki said, There is nothing to be afraid of. Why is this esteemed opposition of ours, especially Mr Tusk, so afraid of a commission to verify Russian influence? But criticism of the plans have also come from outside of Poland, with the US State Department expressing its concern that the new legislation could be misused to interfere with Poland's free and fair elections by blocking the candidacy of opposition politicians without due process. The EU has also expressed concern that the law might be used to affect the possibility of persons to be elected to public office without a fair trial, with the European Commission Vice President for Values and Transparency saying, we will not hesitate to take action if necessary. Conflict with the EU over democracy and the rule of law has become something of a staple in Polish politics in recent years. 
In fact, the European Commission is already currently blocking millions in recovery funds from Poland, as it says the government is undermining the independence of the judicial system. So the controversy over the so-called Tusk Law is likely to make the bad relations between the bloc and Poland even worse. In response to all this, the Polish Foreign Ministry put out a statement seeking to placate the concerns, saying they are always ready to clarify and explain all potential misinterpretations and doubts about it, adding that the investigation committee would be made up of members from all parliamentary groups and that those investigated would have the right to appeal to an administrative court. The US and EU will keep monitoring the situation, but it's certainly not enough to settle the concerns of the political opposition in Poland. As well as holding protests, opposition parties say they will boycott the commission, which could deliver its first report by September the 17th, which is the anniversary of the Soviet invasion of Poland in 1939, just weeks before the country goes to the polls. Donald Tusk says the opposition already has a strategy for dealing with the commission and that the ruling party will come to regret it. Exactly what this strategy is and whether or not it works remains to be seen. What we do know is that Poland's election this year is a crucial one. The Law and Justice Party will be hoping that their strong support for Ukraine, recent economic growth, their conservatism at home and combativeness with the EU will deliver them an unprecedented third term. Meanwhile, the main opposition have framed the election as a battle for democracy and the rule of law and against authoritarianism. At this stage, polling still puts law and justice in the lead, although it may not be enough to command a parliamentary majority. Ultimately, we'll have to wait and see what happens in this story. But honestly, it seems like there's a breaking news story every hour. So how do I stay up to date? Well, I could just read one source, but then I run the risk of falling into an echo chamber and missing entire stories. Another answer is to download multiple news apps, but then you end up with 15 push notifications for the same story. And that's not something I'm down for. So instead, right on my phone's home screen, I have an app which collects all news sources in one place. Ground News is a website and app designed to help you break through media bias and fully understand the biggest news stories every day. Here's how it works. The first thing you'll see is the home feed. Here, you'll obviously find the biggest and most up-to-date news stories, but that's only the beginning. For example, here's a story about Poland passing a new law to block Russian influence in the country. Right away, you can see the reporting bias. This has 44% left-leaning coverage and just 15% right-leaning coverage. You can also see how many total sources have reported on this story, as well as get a brief glance of headlines from across the political spectrum. And if you click on the story, you can dig even deeper. Ground News offers a comprehensive breakdown for every story. You can read every headline, view the political bias and factuality score for every source, and you can even read the articles themselves right from the app. There's even a blind spot feature, which actively highlights stories people on your side of the aisle might be missing. And with their Chrome extension and personalized bias data, you can see exactly what you're missing. It's like a constantly updating Spotify wrapped for news. Hopefully you can see that I like this, and honestly, I recommend it in real life all the time. Because of this, we've decided to offer a special 30% discount for Ground News' Vantage subscription. You can only access this discount by clicking on the link below. So check it out and help support an independent news platform working to make the media landscape more transparent.